Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And today's video of somebody sent me a email and asked me to make a video on how to do this. He's evidently trying to make some foam inserts for his tool drawer of wrenches and screwdrivers, which is a pretty neat idea. Um, need to be careful what kind of foam it is. But he took a picture of it and he's using a light box. A, you know, light with diffused acrylic. And when I first read the email, I thought that's pretty cool. But I'm not so sure that just a, a regular picture on with, with a, you know, white poster board in the background. Normally when I take my pictures, I lay them on the floor so I can get directly overhead. Because you want to be directly overhead of your item so you don't get any distortion. Now... When a camera takes a picture, depending on the quality of the megapixel of the camera, the size of the file is going to be different. When I import a picture off my file, they're like 53 inches in one direction, so they're non-usable. But, so, his light, so you need a, a reference point instead of, you know, doing one screwdriver. So I just kind of figured out that as I drew a red hairline box, so this box is seven and a half by 15. So if you would measure your light box and if it's seven and a half by 15, you know, it's not, you need to, and I've shown this in other videos, you would need to stretch, you know, your, your photo so it would fit inside that box. And also you want to make sure that your, your photo is square. So he took this at a funny angle and um, it's not perfect. So if you use a white poster board, and I'm even going to say, because every every screwdriver is different. I mean, this is going to be a this is going to be a tedious task. But anyway, I did it, and so I what I did is I cropped out, and I used the crop tool. I'm not going to use that because it'll mess away with my other stuff. But I cropped out that one screwdriver because it was the best looking screwdriver of the bunch. Uh, it's perpendicular with my see how this one's at an angle these are all kind of at an angle you know if you're going to do this you need to the picture doesn't have so much be at an angle but because after you draw them in corral you could make them you could adjust them and, and make them straight but this was the best looking screwdriver it's not a great picture and it's actually a bitmap uh, he sent to me in a bitmap file most of your photographs are going to be jpegs so what i did i I cropped it and here's my crop picture and I'm not going to save time just go up to bitmap it's already a bitmap so we have to control it and normally I would use clip art but it didn't really look very good so I use quick trace and it looks the best of all of them so this is my quick trace and you can see it's not perfect it's it's actually I think it's not Corel's fault it's picking up you know some lighting shadows or something but there's a to me and I'm not saying this is the best way but you've already got it you know selected so you go up to object group ungroup all objects and then just click on your outline or your background and delete it encompass all these and delete it now take this item and go up and left click no fill right click hairline now, this is pretty close, but you can see it's totally different on this side to the other side. We actually need this little piece. So what I did and I suggest doing is control D to make a duplicate of it and then flip it. Now you've got two screwdrivers, but it's more probably equal what the really screwdriver looks like. And then just encompass it all and weld it so now you've got an even screwdriver it might be a little bit bigger than the original but the handle is going to be the most important part and it was really close up here and i would test this on a scrap piece of foam or you know anything before i'd actually cut it out but that looks pretty good and then just go up to effects contour and this is where you could i don't have an item selected so it, is lighted out 
but I'm going to contour uh, 0 0.022 to the outside and hit apply and that just gives me a nice little border around it then you go up to object break contour apart and just collect click the red one and move it out of the way and then this is going to be your cut line it's still a hairline but it's equal it would look pretty good and I think it's going to work for him and what I was saying earlier let's say you know your picture was like this well just play with it till it's they're all perpendicular you know with mine it's 360 degrees so it's straight up and down and then what I would do is you know instead of having all well you might want all you have all your screwdrivers but once you get them all done you know then you could control D and make a copy of it and move it over and then once you get them all done you can just in and uh, lasso them both and hit B and it'll bring them all equal and on particularly on the screwdrivers you're probably going to want to hit T for top so let's move this one down and if you had to want all your screwdrivers and just encompass them and hit T and that puts it to the top so all your handles would be on the same line and then your different links would show up like this is I think the wrenches are going to be a little easier than the screwdrivers and to be honest with you I think once you get one screwdriver you could probably figure out what it ever is to change it to the next one and the length and the size are going to be about the same when you reduce it so it might go all the way down the scale and they don't have to fit in there that perfectly they're just meant to move around so if you have a little bit of extra space it's not a killer anyway i hope that helped a little bit and thank you for watching